As a nutritionist, one of the challenges is that we want to, as close as we can, mimic the wild diet. I took a course called Techniques in Analytical Chemistry, and it was basically, well, as you can guess by the name, techniques in analytical chemistry, but we actually use them in real life as well. We started exploring how the skills they're learning in the lab and the lecture each week could apply towards collecting data or addressing some sort of problem or challenge that a community partner may be facing. We're actually able to grow our own tree material to feed our herbivores in our browse program. I had never heard of the word browse before in my life. Hanging stuff is the browse, <laughs> thanks Mistari. Fresh cut browse from on site here. When you look at our gorillas, their intestinal tract that sits down here in their abdomen is several times larger than a human's. It helps support fiber fermentation. And it's a definite challenge because they're missing the fiber component. And that is where our browse program comes in and why we grow trees specifically to feed our Western lowland gorillas and other herbivores. We recently acquired a new plot of land, which is 20 acres, to be able to grow browse to improve the lives of our animals here at Toronto Zoo. One of the challenges is this new land has been intensively farmed, and we wanted to assess the health of the soil to support trees. So through some of the techniques that the students learn in the course, we figured, well, what are some important macronutrients that could be indicators of the health of the soil, which can then inform folks in the nutritional sciences team and the Toronto Zoo as a whole as to what they can do next with that land. UTSC being a critical uh, community partner, it was obvious to bring them in. We were using tools to sample the soil called augers. You basically just stick it in the ground and then you pull it back up. So from that you can do 50 analyses. It felt really good to present. It was good to actually be able to show them that we've taken the soil, that we've actually tried our best to solve your problem and help your browse program out. Science is integrated into absolutely everything, and with having students so close and so engaged with the Toronto Zoo, um, it really is you know, a match made in heaven, so to speak.